and we're off. We're off to another adventure on the island hopper and you guys are coming along with me. I like to fill it up because I notice that the boat tends to run better with a full tank. I guess the extra weight makes a better ride. And that's all she took, 19 gallons. And now we're running through Matlachas, a little fishing town here on the west coast. And about 30 minutes or so, we have almost reached our destination. But check this out. This is the local post office here. Look how big it is. This town here reminds me when I used to live in the 1950s. And one more time, we have reached Taupin Lodge Marina. But before putting the boat in the water, we're gonna go ahead and buy some light shrimp. Just in case, cause you never know what you're gonna find in the water when you go fishing. And this is a team effort. I drive the truck, Joel drives the hopper, and Freco drives the camera. And that's how Fresco Channel makes it work. And like I said before, this is my second time here. And every time I come, I notice there's a lot of boaters here and only one ramp. But it seems like everybody works pretty good because I've never seen a traffic jam. And something I learned here from the last time is make sure you guys follow the channel markers because outside it gets really shallow and you guys pick hit the grass beds. And something else about the channel, remember this channel here, the incoming traffic has the right of it. So there's a few boats coming so we're gonna sit aside and let them come in so we can go out. And I don't mind waiting because you know me, once the boat hits the water, that's it, my fun begins. So I could be moving, stopped, or going slow, it doesn't matter. and cruising with the hopper and we got a perfect surf it's almost flat just with a few ripples and loving the whining for the two stroke the mercury up to max and at this speed our ride for us is going to be about 25 to 30 minutes because we're heading over to boca grande sandbar Be 
believe I got the best seat in the house because at the stern is the best part of the boat. It's the smoothest ride. So if you guys get invited to go on a boat and you don't like to jump around, just sit in the back. And the ride is so smooth that, yes, even Ogida sometimes falls asleep. But not today. Today she's wide awake. And me, I don't mind sitting in the back or the front because I like both. But the best part I like is not driving. guys been through here before you guys notice there's a few islands that are inhabited with beautiful houses and the only way to get here is either by ferry or by your own boat now my question is this how long does it take to build because you have to bring all your building materials on a barge and what about a building inspector does you have his own boat or do you have to bring them and at no time at all we reached our boating destination the sandbar at Boca Grande and I'm not really sure if this is really called Boca Grande sandbar or Placida sandbar if there's any locals watching the video let me know what the actual name of this place is and something you're gonna find here are the local natives the beautiful dolphins like 200 degrees it's so hot out here but it's a cool place right here You guys know me already, I love having sausages in the water. But sometimes, I don't know who tastes better. Cold fruits or the sausages. But right now, it is so hot that I'm dealing with the, with the fruit. They're really good. Mm. You can never go wrong with an apple, a cold apple. Like, the, like it says, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I don't know, maybe it does. What do you think? What did you just say? <laughs> I think she's hungry. What do you think? And if you guys saw my other video when I was here before, you know this place is amazing. And this is really cool. The guy took the dog to walk on the little tracks. And that gives me an idea. It looks like you're hiding in the bushes.
And do you guys know what time it is for Gita? Do you guys know? Yep, it's picture time. And you know me, I don't mind taking pictures. And with a beautiful place like this, it makes it even easier. It's a perfect combination. A beautiful model with a beautiful place. So that was some really cool pictures, but now it's time to explore the railroad tracks because last time I was here, so much fishing that I didn't have time to explore the abandoned old railroad tracks. And the cool thing about this place, it makes you feel like you're walking into history, but in the present time. And that makes me think, I wonder what these railroad tracks used to transport and how long ago, and why did they stop using them? Also something cool about this place, there's actually two sandbars, one on the east side of the railroad tracks and one on the west side. And both of them have good sand and clear water, but the one on the west side is more popular too than native boaters here. And also something that's very popular here is a lot of sardines, mullets, and plenty of snooks running around like this one. While I was looking at him, he's looking at me. Now how cool can this be? We met some fans that watch the channel. Thank you guys for watching. All right guys, so enough of the fruits. It's time to hit the meat, because the meat is where the protein's at. Guess what time is it? Boom, yes. Sausage time. We got big ones and little ones to please everybody. <laughs> We're here at the sandbar having some sausage time. Look at that, loving it. It's a nice quiet day. Well, semi quiet, but don't matter. Don't matter the time, it's sausage time. Hey, look who came all the way from New York for a video. He actually drove the boat. It, it took him like a two weeks to get to uh, to Boca Grande, but he made it though. I made it from here. And look who's back, Denise. But now this time they came on their own boat. <laughs> My partner in crime. We're not uh. <laughs> you're not you're not stowaways today. No, we have to go together to Bombu. Oh, okay. I'm changing. I'm changing the angle. Yeah, yeah. Siempre están allí cuando tú no lo Mom, we were fishing at the bridge and you're playing with one. Yeah, Are you sure the kids don't want some? Guys, you want a sausage burger? You want some? Are you sure? You're just saying yes to anything. But Fidia is going to taste a Fresco Channel sausage. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Hamburger bun. Whoa. On a hamburger. Ah! And I'm with the sausage, and this is how you do it. There you go. All right, see if it's good or bad. <laughs> be, be honest, or you gonna lie on camera? <laughs> like it? Oh yeah. Do it. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> there you go. 
That's the new way of eating sausages. Hamburger bread with a sausage in it. <laughs> and if you guys haven't tried it, try it because it tastes really good. Chorizo con pan. And what makes it taste even better is because it's grilled at the sandbar. And so far so good, we're having an amazing time. And looking now, Porfirio showed up to join us. But the day's not over. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for part two that we went fishing and winded up saving a snook's life. And we would did more out and hopping. So don't miss it. Tune in tomorrow. This lure out of the snook's mouth. So now he can finally eat and have like regular life.